Oh, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Ooh, strum that a little hard, or I didn't put enough tape on there. There we go. Got as new. To make this banjo, you will need the following. Elastic bands. I used four, but um, if you want to make it a little bit more authentic, or a little bit more like a real banjo, you can use five. And make sure they fit around your banjo. A lid from a jar, as long as it's kind of flat on one side and there's an opening on the other, it should work. Some tape. I use scotch tape. Duct tape will work too glue and popsicle sticks and I used a little marker to decorate it. Okay, so start by okay, taking your lid and putting the elastics over top. And put them right over in the middle. Now I'm making sure that my elastics are tight enough that they will make a sound. If they're too loose, they won't make a sound. But if they're tighter, they'll vibrate more and it will make a sound. Or a nicer sound anyhow. Okay, so I'm putting them right in the middle. Or right in the middle. Oops, one's sliding off. That's okay because I'm going to flip it over to the back and tape them. And there we go. There we go. They're all on there. Now I'm going to put a piece of tape to secure them in place. Okay, I use three pieces of clear tape. If you were using duct tape, you'd probably only need one piece. But my um, clear scotch tape isn't quite as strong, so I'm putting three pieces. Now, for the neck of my banjo, I'm going to take my two sticks. Preferably, I just have one big stick, but I don't have one big stick, so I'm going to use two smaller ones. And I want to make sure that it looks good on this side. That looks good. Okay. So now I can put some glue to secure that and then tape it on. So I put down a piece of paper to glue over top because I want to make sure I don't get any glue on my table. I'm going to put a dab of glue. One stick, two stick. I'm putting them right over top where I taped the elastic bands and then I'm going to put some tape over top. I want to wait for your glue to dry before you put tape. That would work better but for the sake of doing this video in a timely manner. We're not going to wait for the glue to dry. There we go. That's my banjo. Now, if I wanted, I could decorate these sticks here. I could draw some lines to make it look like I have a fretboard. And then I could use my glue, put some little glue dots that will dry. One, two, three, four, because they have four strings. And those can be my tuning pegs. The tuning pegs usually attach to the strings on a guitar or banjo and allow you to tune them by tightening or loosening them. I'm going to draw some lines going the opposite direction of my strings to make it look like frets. But you don't have to do this. You can decorate yours however you like. Oops. Now, if you are drawing on there and gluing, make sure you either draw first or you allow your glue to dry before you are moving on there because my glue attached together but I can just fix that with, with my little handy dandy toothpick or my finger, just wipe it off and try again. Then, awesome. Here's the finished product. How tight you pull your 
um, elastics or how small the elastics were before they were on the lid will change the sound. See, this one is a little bit stiffer, a little bit tighter. It's also wider. That will change the sound too. Sounds different than that one, that one, or that one. This one here, because it's on the edge, it's not quite pulled as tight. So if I bring it up, pull it a little bit tighter. Make sure it's not touching another one. There we go. That will change the sound too. So the placement also changes the sound because our circle, our lid is a circle. So the distance from here to here isn't as big as the distance from the top to the bottom. So that will affect how our elastic band stretches out. Have fun making your banjo!